What's going on guys? Welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 39. If this is your first week tuning in, basically the way this series works is every single week on a Friday, I will show you two proven, tried and tested dropshipping products. These will be dropshipping products that have been advertised that have millions of views, hundreds if not thousands of positive comments from customers who have bought these products. Now you might be thinking, well doesn't that mean they're saturated or doesn't that mean that they're past winners? That is not the case with these products. Every single week I will only show you two products which have potential today. I will show you the comments, the latest comments on all of these products so you can see that people are buying them right now. Making this the perfect opportunity, if you're watching this video looking for your first winning product, then every single week on a Friday, I'm gonna give you two great options to try. If you are worried about these products being saturated, there is no need to worry because I will show you where they're being sold. So for example, with this first product, we can see that it's currently being sold in the United States and the Spain. So if you want to sell this product, you can choose those same countries because you know the demand is there. However, if something is popular in the United States, from experience I can tell you there will be a demand for this product in the UK, in Australia in Canada, in New Zealand, in lots and lots of other countries. And so with that being said, let's take a look at the very first product. So some background contextual information before I show you what the product is. It's from a company called v Vol, so V-E-V-A-L-L. -L. I highly recommend you go and check this video ad out yourself because it's quite entertaining. They have quite a nice sound effect, which I'll be showing you in a second. It has 2.2 thousand likes, nearly 300 comments and over 500 shares. So what is this product? Basically, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear that. So there's quite a nice sound effect there, which is kind of illustrating how the product works. It's essentially an air powered plunger. So it helps unclog toilets, as you can see, sinks, any particular use you have for this product. Um, and that sound effect that people are actually commenting on in the comment section as well, um, really helps actually sell this product. So all in all, obviously a real kind of life case useful product. So based on the engagements, we can see that it has some success. However, if you're familiar with this series, you know we'll take a look at the comment section. First one I'm gonna show you is the newest, so you can see this is indeed working right now. So three days ago, four days ago, this one is four weeks, but if we open up the replies four days ago, six days ago, one week, two weeks, 14 weeks, but has six replies. So it always does that, which is frustrating, but you get the gist. There's a lot of comments all within the last week showing you that all within the last week, this is still running, it's still active and still working today. However, how I know that people are indeed buying this product is if we go back to the most relevant. So most relevant are usually the comments which have the most engagements. Um, we'll be able to see exactly if anybody's actually buying this thing. So if we just open these up. Um, so Kevin Jones, best tool, paid for itself the first time using it versus what a plumber charges for each visit. Lloyd posted, if it doesn't make that noise when I pull the trigger, I'm returning it. So if you do decide to go down the route of using this product, I'd definitely add in your own humorous sound effect every time the product is used. James got one and it really works well better than any plunger. This person here just bought one, this thing better work. However, we know it is working from, based on the other comments, need one of these. Um, Taco Bell already does that for me. People kind of post in humorous comments, which is good because it helps with engagement and so um, organic reach, I should say. I got it and works great. Love the sound effect on the video when you pull the trigger. Where do I get one of these more intent from people? Um, Eddie posted, it really works. Steve is posting who sells them and how much. So lots of intent, quite a few people who have actually bought this product. So I think it's fair to fair um, or safe to say um, we have a winning product here. So we're seeing the ad creative, we're seeing that people are buying it. Um, let's jump onto the website then and take a look at how they're selling this product and what their website actually looks like. So to me, this looks like a stereotype typical Debutify theme, there's nothing wrong with that, a very popular theme for good reasons. So copy of Debutify 4.9.0. They have a quantity selector. I'm not 100% sure how relevant this is. Um, it must be there for a reason. It's not the sort of product that would strike me somebody would buy three of these things. Um, however, like I said, it must be there for a reason, so it must be working for these guys. It's not essentially a cheap product either, um, which shows that as long as the product isn't too expensive, I'll show you where to source it from in a second, and then the profit margins must be pretty decent. Let's check out their imagery then. So to me, this looks like basic imagery. They're not always using the same colors as their brand, which tells me they may have imported this across from AliExpress. Um, let's take a look at their product description. So typical kind of textbook layout, heading, paragraph, keywords in bold, followed by image or GIF. 
heading, paragraph with keywords in bold, image or GIF, so on and so forth, all the way down into your trust badges, free shipping, frequently bought together, um, and customer reviews. So in the grand scheme of things, not to take anything away from this store, of course, but a very textbook, um, kind of like Shopify dropshipping layout and description. So a very quick and simple product to get started with, I would say. By actually creating your ad creative, depending on where you get that from, you could definitely be up and running with this product if you know what you're doing within 48 hours. So they're selling the products for 48 pounds. Let's jump onto AliExpress. Um, you have to put in air powered plunger to actually find exactly what it is you're looking for. They're selling it for 50 pounds as we saw it ranges everywhere from sort of like 10 pounds 33 here. And this one's 21 pounds, 874, 1169. Uh, so that's for like a high quality version by the looks of things, 10 pounds 42. So depending on kind of what package or what supplier you're going for, you're looking anywhere between, let's go for 15 pounds. So you've covered yourself pretty comfortably. We've seen these guys are selling it for 50, which means they're making 35 pounds profit per sale before their Facebook ad costs, of course. If we go back to some of their targeting, which is provided by Minia, a great, great, great product research tool, we can see their main focus is the US, which is 66% or two thirds, followed by Spain, which is one third. Audience is two thirds male, one third female, and the most popular demographic for this product is 20 to 30 year olds. So you have your targeting there as well. Before we move on to product number two, just very quickly, 20 to 30 seconds of your time, I want to make you aware of my 100% free training that I've just got done recording. If you're looking for an all-in-one training package that is 100% free and will show you every step you need to take to launch your business and start getting your first customers in the next 21 days, this is the training for you. It is 100% free. If you click the top link in the video description down below, it will take you to a page like this. All you need to do is put your name and email address in I ask for your email address so I can send you this. This is a PDF download, also free of 194 profitable products ideas for 2023. So by watching this training, not only do you get the products that you need to sell, but you also get the strategy on how to sell them. If that sounds good to you at the end of this video, make sure you check out that top link in the description below. Cheers. Let's move on to the second and final products for this week. Um, let's start with the targeting. We have the most popular demographics, which is 10 to 20 years old, which is very rare to see when you see the product. Um, two thirds male and one third female, again, really, really rare. I'm not 100% sure how accurate this is given my own experience in this niche. And then their audience is currently two thirds Australia and one third US. The UK is not very often targeted, making it quite a cheap place to advertise. So this ad is from a company called Stardust Pet. Let's take a look at the creative itself. We'll turn this up so you can hear it a little bit. Nice piece of kind of like UGC content. Lots of different applications and demonstrations of how the product works. A real person on camera talking about the product, which I think is a really popular and uh, valuable, if that's the right word to use, or effective marketing strategy, I should, sh I should say. All in all, a great looking product. You've probably seen these products before. Originally, they were not designed or marketed to be dog products. And we'll see in a comment section in a second that somebody else has actually picked up on this as well. So 1.7 thousand reactions, 719 comments and 713 shares. Marianne, I ordered two. Carlos, I love how they repurposed the 90s toy as a dog toy. This is not the first time in this series where we've seen people make a lot of money from repurposing toys originally designed for kids, but actually selling them as dog toys. Sharon Baker, thank you, I just ordered mine, looks great. We just hours, I only bought one waiting to see how many of my 12 dogs would like it, ordered more already. There's another person who's ordered quite a few of these things and is happy with them, most importantly is happy with them as well. Stacy, I just got mine and my dog loves it. Marianne, I just ordered two, which I think we saw at the top. Teresa, I ordered one and when you received it, it doesn't have no lights in, so there's a bit of confusion there, maybe a misleading ad creative. Jamie, I ordered one of these several weeks ago, never got it, be careful. So these guys need to do a better job by the looks of it of what they're advertising and what they're actually supplying. But nonetheless, as we can see, people are buying this product and for the most part, people are happy with it when they receive it as well. Let's jump onto their Shopify store then. So when we click the shop now button, this is the page it takes us to. Um, another debutify type looking store. What What's interesting on this one is they actually have quite a few extra additions, so extra apps they're using. So I'm going to take advantage of my tool um, to actually 
point out some of these. So number one is they have swatches for the different colors, which I really like. Just little touches like that, I think, helps add to the professionalism of a store. They have different actual variants as well. So you can actually buy a pack of three and you can actually build on top of that and get a free dog trainer ebook along with this mystery box. So I think it's just a great way kind of bumping up that average order value because if you haven't spotted already, look, this is a free plus shipping offer. Something I've not seen people do for probably six years. So maybe it's coming back, who knows? Maybe we'll see more and more people adopting this strategy. A nice gift then as the product image really kind of, again, displaying how the product works and how dogs enjoy using it and how it can keep them occupied. People, especially dog owners, of course, um, love to watch videos like this. They have a sense of scarcity and urgency. Hurry up, just seven balls left with this progress bar, which is kind of used to kind of illustrate there's not many left, just to encourage people to indeed follow through on a purchase. Again, a kind of, well, the exact textbook strategy in terms of product description, which I went over in the previous video. So title and heading followed by paragraph, followed by image or GIF. Let's move down into the product reviews. Then they actually have some videos, which is a nice touch. And a lot of the reviews have paragraphs as well, which is good as well, because a big mistake that I see quite a lot of people making is they will have our imported really poor quality reviews from AliExpress that are broken English. They don't really make sense. The names are hidden. Those sorts of reviews will actually put people off more than it will actually help them convert. So we're seeing they're selling this product for just shipping costs. Um, if we actually jump onto AliExpress so we can get an idea of how much profit they're making or how they're making this work, we can see that with the right supply, you can get this delivered for less than five pounds to your customer, making it approximately 10 pounds, I would say. So very, very, very tight margins that they're working on for this product. However, if I had to guess, I would say that they have the odd person that opts into one of these variants, bumping up that average order value, meaning they're using this purely as a deal to get eyeballs onto their website. And they have a very slick kind of post visit sequence that gets people to opt in to one of these bigger and more expensive packages. And so with that being said, that brings a wrap to Facebook Ads Friday this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video on Monday. Have a great weekend. Cheers.